Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. So to start out, there's kind of some bad information uh, going on out there being spread around about the uh, Dell Optiplex uh, 3010 and how to wire it up. Uh, I'm making this video because I kind of want to set the record straight and let people know that there is actually a better way to do this than what they think. Now, I want you to see something here before I get started on this and show you this hack. Uh, here's the computer that I have the uh, Dell 3010 motherboard in that I did a swap over onto. And I want you to watch the top here. And we'll see if I get the screen in there too. I'm gonna push the power button. You see the lights for the power button? You see the power button worked. You see that light off to the side? That's the hard drive LED. Here's the corner of the screen. We're not getting that message on boot up that something's disconnected. And it booted right up. Uh, the audio jacks are working. The USB is working. Everything's working on here just perfect. Okay? Even, watch this, the reset button. Okay? Now, you might be th thinking to yourself, damn, how the hell did you do that? Well, it's not hard. Um, like I said, the, the information that's out there about the Dell uh, 3010 is kind of wrong. Uh, right here is the uh, old uh, USB from the old tower. Here's the old audio. Is that... And, uh, well, here's the, uh, that wire for the power with, like, the two things in there. So, yeah, scrap all that. You don't need that shit. You don't need to worry about, you know, <laughs> try to... <laughs> all right, all right, we'll, we'll get into this. For, let, let, let me power down this computer, first of all, so you can have a look at what I did. flip off the power switch this is such a simple simple hack and let me unplug this side right here hold on here make sure i get the right wires that one and that one and that one what this is is uh well let's look on the other side here you can see what it is let it focus it's the, uh, ah, it's not even focusing, damn thing. It's probably upside down too, I think. There we go. It's the reset switch. Uh, and then attached to the reset switch, we see a little T that goes off and gives you this little wire right here. So we got the reset switch with the T on it. Now up on top here, Oh, uh, let me shine a little bit of light here. There's another little connector on the uh, red and yellow wires that are on that little power switch. You notice that all the other wires are clipped off and gone. Basically, that's just a little thing to bridge those together. Uh, now, you notice that... Let me see if I can get in here a little better. You notice there's nothing else. Let me put down this... Oh, hold on. Sorry, guys. Nothing else connected to it. It's just a little bridge. I mean, if, if you want, you could jerry-rig this and, uh, you know, just splice those wires together, maybe tape them off. But uh, I like to do it, you know, all professional looking, so I put a little bridge in there to bridge those together. And uh, let me switch to my other display so we can take a look at this on screen for a little visual of uh, what I did okay so you can see this is kind of a representation of that uh, 
little jumper thing that gets put right down in here that uh, has all those extra connections coming out that if you unplug it, you always get that message. And this is actually how it should be wired up. Not this uh, splice into those little bitty wires up on top bullshit that you, you'll, you'll see all over the internet that, that people are talking about. Okay, so this is basically a 16 pin thing here, eight pins on each side. So I have the pin out right up here on the screen and I want you to take a close look at that. It's basically like any other kind of motherboard where you got your you know hard drive and your resetter together here on this side where the ends are the positive wires for the uh, LEDs and uh, next to that is the negative. Those you can wire right up. Same thing with your power right here. You can wire that right up. It's just your reset that you need to jumper. And what you're going to take is the first one, first pin, right after the uh, hard drive uh, LEDs, and then the skip one, and then go down one, and then these two right here, you're going to jumper. So that's actually what we got going on here. And you want to make sure you put this in the right way uh, when you do this. Uh, that's really kind of important there. You want to make sure that the, the jumper side is uh, in the correct thing here. And let me get my, what the hell did I do with it? My light. Ah, I got set to flash. Hold on. Stupid thing. There we go. I'll set it up on bright here so I can see this. Sorry if that's bright. Let's see if we can adjust that just a little bit there for you. Okay, so I can plug these in. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to count down five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's where this is going to plug into. And it should be. Uh, I don't know if I can get this on camera or not. Ah. Well, why bother? But anyways, uh, I ain't going to try doing that with one hand on camera here like that. It's kind of hard to hold the camera at the same time while I'm trying to do that. But uh, that's that's the gist of it. And that's how I got that working. Everything working up on top like it should. All the audio. Now, when it comes to that <clears throat> other message, like when you unplug your audio or your USB, and sometimes you can get a message on your screen telling you that that's unplugged too the like it'll say like the front io panel is unplugged and, and that's why you're getting that message uh basically <clears throat> what you're gonna do is on your usb here it'll it'll plug in this way of course with the uh five pins going on the top part and the four pins on the bottom the pins on the way right hand side there which you know if it's going in this way would be the top you just jumper those. If you look at this connector, see that right there? It's it's your standard red, white, green, black. Uh, now you see two black ones right next to each other. Um, all you got to do is jumper those so that it's the ground on the end there is connected to the ground next to it so it picks it up so that it knows so that it's plugged in. Now what I did on mine, <laughs> since this board is the uh, mid ATX size uh, and it's got actually two USB ports I don't know if we can see that but uh, I just snagged a little jumper off the motherboard off the like uh, the service jumper or whatever it was and I just stuck that on the green let's see if I can get in there to see so you can see that no not really it's because this USB 3.0 oh, there we go there you can kind of see it see that little jumper there that's sitting in between on like the right hand side and then the first pin over that's just a little jumper and then right next to it is the other usb port plugged in and then of course my audio is plugged in so that's how that's going to work uh so 
hopefully that sets you straight about how to get these things wired up um i've done this a, a zillion times and i was actually surfing youtube and i happened to stumble across one of the videos where somebody was talking about how they were wiring it up and i just fucking cringed i'm like oh shit and so i looked around for a couple other videos uh on doing this and i noticed every damn one of them told people the same thing and uh <laughs> i just i was just like oh my god I, I i gotta do a video on this because this is just terrible now now one of the things i need to mention here uh now you notice this says here jumper sata 3 4 now if you don't jumper these not only will you get the message but this will actually disable sata 3 and 4 if it's not hooked up right so that's one thing that you're also going to find that if, if you unplug that thing and then just try wiring it up and don't jumper it, not only are you still going to get the message, but your third and fourth SATA ports aren't going to work. And uh, I kind of needed them in this one because, as you can see, I've got, you know, SSD hard drive and then, of course, the burner up there. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. I actually need to get this computer finished. It's actually going to be a Christmas present for somebody. I, I from what I understand, I'm just uh, building it for somebody. Uh, but uh, I will see you guys later, and I'll actually have another build coming up. It's actually probably going to be this one or else the uh, other one that I did. I'm still doing some... Uh, uh, splicing all my uh, scenes together on the other one too. So I've actually got two more builds coming up that you're going to see coming up here within the week. So, uh, but that's it for this one and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.